For the look better the better Nigga, I gotta be safe Let's get to the sports talk Kawhi Leonard Yes Obviously Yes it's, uh, and look, I know LeBron James is one of the most perfect players we've ever seen, and obviously having AD, who I think is a top five player. But thinking about the way that Kawhi Leonard has just played this past season, winning a championship, being a finals MVP, and then bringing Paul George to the table, a guy who was in the MVP conversation, two lockdown defenders, they complement each other extremely well. Obviously, you saw what, BB, what they had right there, a 16% chance to win the whole thing. I think that's because you have two guys who are two great defensive players, and then also two guys who are very clutch offensively as well. I'm not mad at you at all, but think about it like this. Paul George was third in the MVP race. Mm -hmm. This season, he's going to be the fourth best player in his own building. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the Lakers on this one. You said the two highest PERs. Yep. LeBron hasn't played basketball in six months. He's going to be motivated. He's going to be fresh. Anthony Davis was a star in New Orleans. But you know what makes you a superstar? Balling in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. He's going to get a chance to do that now. He's going to elevate himself. He's going to be amongst the league leaders in points and rebounds. LeBron James, the same exact thing. They have something special going in purple and gold. Hey, you weren't a defensive guy. You At all. That's what I'm saying. I didn't mention that word once. <laughs> <Would you? laughs> Don't you think that matchup of having Kawhi go against a LeBron James, like he would take on that responsibility? Now, I know there's low management mm -hmm. issues there and Paul George coming off the shoulder injury, surgery, excuse me. But I still think that that kind of lineup. It's like Clippers are going to be the best defensive team. You can't take that away from them. Paul George coming off sur um, surgery, uh, uh, shoulder surgery. You got to wait and see how they going to mash together. How that team gonna turn out together with him on the floor with Kawhi. You can't just crown them the best team. You gotta see how they two stars gonna work together when they on that floor. The World Clippers gonna be a dominant team this year. But you gotta wait and see how the other star work with the other star. Cause they gonna be some good defenders. They can defend and play offense as well. I ain't taking that away from them. You just got to wait and see how they going to turn out together when they on the floor together. Like I said in my last video, like, you seen what Andrew Davis and LeBron can do because they on the floor together. Now you see that chemistry coming together and you see how they working. You got to see how Paul George and Kawhi going to work together on the court. You don't know that yet. That's why you can't just up and say they're going to be the best team. You got to see how they two stars going to work. You ain't seen them work yet. That's what this preseason is for so you can build up chemistry and know what this person can do what this person cannot do. Now that's what I'm saying. You got to wait and see. Paul George still sitting out with that. He just came off that surgery. You got to see how him and Kawhi going to work first. I, they going to work together good but you got to see so they can know what that person can do, what that person cannot do. Between the way those two play, that's going to be a dynamic duo. Those are the two best two-way players, yes. probably. So we're going to see, like, that's the best defensive duo, maybe. Mm -hmm. And my question for you is, so then where does KD, or when we're seeing them line up, who are LeBron and where's AD? Where are they playing? Is AD a five? Is that going to be the closing lineup? How do the Lakers structure that? You know, use a stretch. Four. <laughs> so sometimes the big doesn't always want to play the five. He doesn't. So he's not going to start at the five. But guess what? JaVale McGee, uh, Dwight Howard, they won't be finishing the game. Nope. Anthony Davis will be playing the five. Kuzma will be in there. LeBron will be in there. And either Avery Bradley or Green is going to be in there for defensive purposes. So I guess you do whatever you have to do in order Absolutely. to make it back to the playoffs. Yes, indeed. Okay, that's the best duo according to you guys. Then who's the most intriguing? We might have questions about this duo. But we still get a little excited about these two. I'm going to go with the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to go with D-Lo and Stephen Curry. Okay. I'm going to say this too. The Golden State Warriors, mark down the date, mm -hmm. they are not going to make the playoffs. The Golden Wait. State Warriors are not going to make the playoffs. And this is why I say that D-Lo and Stephen Curry are the most intriguing duo. Now, D-Lo played extremely well last year. He got the Brooklyn Nets to the playoffs, correct? He made the All-Star game. He wasn't the guy at first. Kara Subert was the guy, right? D-Lo started to find his swag. I wonder how D-Lo will do 
in a system that he can't dominate the ball. The team he that has made it ball. to five straight finals yes. is not going to make the playoffs. Yes, it's a different team. Clay Thompson is not going to be there until March. Who knows how he'll be when he comes back. They, they also, they lost uh, Rod Adams too, which is their deepest of coach. So now they have a different identity. Both D'Lo and Stephen Curry do not defend. We've seen this before. And now the usage rate for Stephen Curry is going to be extremely high. He's going to need to do everything. Draymond Green got a big-time contract. We're going to see if he can score and carry that load. But I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on D'Lo to play in that new style and system and that run and gun. I don't know if that suits his game specifically. I don't think D'Lo earned his way to the top duo conversation right? just yet. <laughs> Interesting. It's going to need to be. Who else yeah. is going to be the duo on that team? Well, Draymond Green. I feel saying. like he is. Interesting. It's like... It's something new for him. Like, D'Angelo Russell's who, what he can do. That's why he got that big contract from the Warriors. And him and Stephen Curry don't really play defense like that. It's a different team. People from last year and the previous years are gone. There's a whole new team. The defense ain't going to be the same like it was the previous years. There's a whole different team. I feel like they still gonna make the playoffs. I feel like that, but it, it, it's not gonna be the same how it was. It's a different type of a team now. Different type of personnel now, and they the same personnel for five years straight of winning championships. It ain't the same now. The Russell and Curry are good offensive players. But they don't play defense as well. Is that's why it's gonna be a different team? It ain't the, it ain't the same how it was. It's a whole different team. It's a, it's a whole different approach now. They still gonna be a playoff team, but it's not gonna be the same how it was previous. Has to be Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Both of those guys, now think about it, Russell Westbrook averaged a triple-double for three straight seasons. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to be playing with James Harden. Both of these guys have the highest usage rate of NBA history. They're going to be on the exact same team. <laughs> and the personality that Russ plays with, the fire that he plays with, and sometimes the non-efficient game mm -hmm. that he plays. And so what is he going to be doing when James Harden is dominating the ball in isolating, isolation situations? Mm -hmm. Spotting up is not the best thing that he does. They're both top four in touches and isolation plays. But can they, I feel like we didn't see it much uh, with Harden and Chris Paul. Can they play and have a play run for him for when both of them are getting a touch where they're assisting one another? Does it have to be, this is your isolation play. Next play, this is you, Westbrook. Does it have to be on and off again? James Harden has to change. One thing I would like to see from his game is for him to play off the ball some. When the last time you seen James Harden in a three on two break shoot a layup or a dunk? Or somebody else handling the ball, he coming off the baseline trying to make a play. He always has the ball. So he's the one that's gonna have to make the adjustment as Russ joins his team. You think he's going to though? He has to. I don't think he will. I, James Harden has been that player that his defense is dictated by his offense. He's used to having the ball in his hands. We, I've seen you talk about this multiple times. Or plays, he just takes off when he's not involved in the offense. He'll just stand. Right? That, that's who James Harden is. Now, I think Russ can help with that because then you have two guys that can create a lot of different passes and plays. But still, it comes out like they're demonstrative attitudes. This can even this can be great. Or this can be really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Like watching facial expressions, the way we'll tone in on those two. And also, it's going to be like a fashion runway when they walk into the gym. <laughs> no doubt. No, every every single... <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> they, both, they both dress similar a little bit. They both going to be going in there looking like they just <laughs> walked the wrong way for real. It's just like, he ain't going to change, man. It, it's like, they similar. They both need a basketball in their hands. All this standing around is not going to be good down the line. You got to rotate the basketball sometimes. It's not, it can't just be isolation all the time. Like, I watch their games. You see players standing in the corner. You got two players standing in the corner. And James Harden at the top playing isolation basketball. That's why it's going to be tough for them to get a championship, you got to rotate that basketball so everybody get touches so you could go deep in the playoffs. 
Cause it can hurt you when you got people just standing around isolation basketball in the playoffs. That's why he retired when it come when it come that time they go in the playoffs. There's a lot of isolation basketball. And a lot of people standing around. Like, you can't win like that. You can win in the regular season like that. But it's too much isolation basketball. But he's not going to change. He's still going to be the same guy. It don't matter who they bring in. It's always going to be isolation basketball. Every single game, they will be highlighted for some other reason, maybe than them. We might need to just do one on the duos and the way they look. We could have a fashion <laughs> duo, which one's going to be the best one by the end of the season. But you know what else those two guys going to do? We're going to be watching League Pass multiple times, uh -huh. and both of those guys going to have triple doubles in the same game. I agree. 100%. How about that? That's dynamic. I call them Team Supreme. Okay, team, team Supreme. Right I like there. that. Combined, they have eight 50-point triple doubles just mm. by themselves the rest wow. of the nba has six total so mm. that's what we we might be seeing throughout the season <laughs> okay the duo thing isn't new though so i wanted to get you guys' take on the best ever nba duo in like history see i got, I got the little foot joint right here because okay. I'm, I'm a little guy right so i'm like my feet swinging mm -hmm. not hitting the ground i'm like kevin hart tip but i like the little guards right so for me growing up i didn't i didn't think i was going to be six six like michael jordan i think i was going to be six nine like magic mm -hmm. i had isaiah thomas and joe dumas like the way they played, you're a Detroit guy, the bad boys, the way they brought that pain and the way they played each and every day, they drew that line in the sand. And plus the way Joe shot that ball and the way Isaiah danced with the ball, that mesmerized me as a kid. That was my answer as well. Really? Absolutely. The bad boy? Yeah, you were giving me a weird look about no it. No doubt about it. Because I'm Pippen and Jordan. Yeah. Let's talk about people that won championships together, like back to back to back to back to two. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports,